Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> then we gotta find some more. Let's see what the weather's gonna be like first. <gasps> what does that mean? Lazy. It's cloudy. Yeah. And what that means? That means no, the sun is not gonna be out. Why? Because the clouds are gonna cover up the sun. It's okay though. It's still gonna be a good day, right? Yes. Yeah. Come here, baby. Show me your pretty teeth. Smile. They're worth showing off. Her breath stinks, but they're worth showing off. Look, I closed the camera. Gonna be looking for that later. Missing out on life if you ain't got no lavender chai tea latte. It tastes so good. It's just lavender. I think I put like two pumps of lavender in it. And then I do um, almost half and half of the chai tea latte mix. Tazo Shanti Latte Mix. And then I also do um, half milk, oat milk. I put a little honey in it, and when I tell you, it's amazing. And it has black tea, so it does still have caffeine. So, bye. So we're going to Home Sense. It's like a spinoff of Home Goods, and I love Home Goods. So I'm gonna go look for stuff for the garage, and then look for. Do you okay? Look for stuff for the garage, and then also look for stuff for the bedroom because I wanna. We recently upgraded our queen size bed to a king size bed, and so we need like use the left lane to keep left to merge onto state highway. So we need like new south. new pillows and stuff like that. But 
Then we're going to go to Costco. We're going to go to Costco. The main focus for Costco is not to buy up all the snacks and the food, but to just get some bins for the ceiling, Sam. You holding hands or no? <coughs> I'm a charter. Can I get some strawberries? Yeah. Oh, soda. We don't get no soda. The last thing I saw, Mark, I saw Mark said Dad did soda. Good morning. Okay. I know I look a little crusty, but it's okay. I get my hair done this week. I get it done on, child, I don't even know. I think I get it done on Thursday. Just kidding. I get it done on Wednesday. So I'm in this weird, like, I'm not trying to wash or do my hair because I'm just about to get it done. But anyway, I'm about to post um, some sponsored content on it's Monday, by the way. I'm about to post some sponsored content from um, a campaign that is ready to go live. Um, that's really... I do have a few things I need to do today. Let's see. I always make myself a little to-do list, and then I text them to myself. <laughs> so I need to... Um, we have a vacant room in our house. I say vacant. But it used to be an office, but right now nobody's using it. And I want to like, like revamp it and turn it into a pretty cool office. And so I'm going to gather some brands that I can pitch this idea to. We'll call it just like the office makeover. Um, so probably like search for um, paint, search for, I really want to redo the floor. So I'm going to search for some floor brands, um, furniture brands, decorative brands, um, so this will be really like a DIY um, makeover project. And so I want to pitch this to brands. That way I don't have to pay for it and I could possibly get paid just to redo my office. So I'm going to research the brands today. I do have a YouTube video that is ready to be posted. Y'all, your girl is on YouTube. I'm feeling real good about it too. I found that video editor, praise God. Um, I also found a virtual assistant, praise God. And so, um, prepare to be sick of me because I'm about to crank out some videos for y'all. But other than that, I, um, I've recorded a lot of vlog stuff, so I need to off offload that onto my computer. And then the last thing I need to do is take some of these YouTube videos and turn those into shorts. So I'm about to post this content. It's a partnership, um, with a pretty cool brand and it goes live on Instagram, not YouTube, I ain't there yet, <laughs> one day. Um, but I have the email up and I'm just about to post it. <music> of the vlog this is but I do know that today is Friday um I am headed to a client's to um get some content for her it means I have to go into Dallas like downtown Dallas today um I love being downtown I would never want to live downtown but I do love being downtown um just to get a, get in the city I love that I'm able to get out of the city when I need to or want to to go back home um, and I just couldn't imagine raising a child downtown, but anyway, we are shooting some social media content. I've been working with Devin for a very long time, um, personally and like for her brand, her professional brand and her personal brand. So we are putting a focus on her personal content, which I'm so excited for because she got it. Like she has the potential to like really do something. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to joining her and being a part of her journey for that. But um, I had a moment, not the traffic, Lord help me. 
thought I was gonna be on time. I ain't gonna be on time. Um, I had a moment and I'm realizing that this uh, entrepreneurial journey is absolutely a spiritual journey. <laughs> like I have never felt more like connected to God than today or now in this moment during this journey. Um, and I think it's primarily because like you just have to trust him so much whenever you are a full-time content creator, whether you are full-time anything, whenever you take that leap, like that's not a leap that you can take by yourself. You have to take that leap with God. <clears throat> and so tomorrow, you just never know what's going to happen. Tomorrow I ain't promise, obviously, but tomorrow I ain't promise for your business either. Um, so it's the journey that that has really made me realize like this is a spiritual journey. Um, you gonna cry. Anyway, my phone got too hot. I'm trying to use my GPS and my camera at the same time and it said no. But anyway, it's definitely a spiritual journey because you're gonna cry, you're gonna fail, you're gonna wanna quit. And like um, the only way you are able to sustain and push through and move on to the next step, the next level is through the grace of God. And so this is definitely a spiritual journey. Um, I hope everybody in some form or fashion gets to take the spiritual journey, but it might not be the entrepreneurial route, but definitely a journey. Um, one thing I know for certain <laughs> is God going to take care of you, girl. He just has proved himself, even though he doesn't have to. Um, even though he doesn't have to, like, he has just came through every single time. And one thing I'm realizing is that every month, every quarter, every year, essentially, looks different. Um, I'm rolling up on year two of being a full-time content creator. I've been doing this for four years now, but this is officially the second year of doing it on my own depending on myself and so here we are um and it has been quite the journey i have absolutely wanted to give up i have um overdrafted in my accounts before like i have been broke broke i have also made a lot a lot of money um and that's to me just a part of the ebbs and flows of it all but i hope this doesn't discourage anyone i hope it encourages you um but I know, like I know, that I would not be able to do any of this without God. I just stopped by White Rhino, the little coffee shop, um, and got me, I don't even know what I got. I just started ordering stuff off the menu, but I'm about to just finish the shoot with Chelsea. Yeah. Just finished the shoot with Chelsea, so now I'm about to go to the house and prepare for
pretty good. It's some kind of tea. Um, I think it's like some kind of hibiscus tea. It's not bad though. It's not sweet. It's refreshing. But anyway, I'm about to go to the house. Prepare for the big call that I have at six o'clock. I still need to do like the second part of the slide deck and then send off some emails because I have shoots tomorrow and I need to make sure my clients and I are on the same page. But that's my morning. It's 1147. It's not even noon. Um, half of my day is pretty much done. But that's all I wanted. Bye.